Hello friends. Thank you for finding me here on my YouTube channel. You can also find me at my blog and website, stampwithjuliebaum.com. Today is Tuesday, October 12th, and this is part two of the Stamp Club series for October. I filmed a different video that had um, the first card that we made, which also was using the Forever Fern stamp set and the Forever Flourishing dies. Um, we're gonna stick with Forever Fern on this second card, but this is definitely a fall or an autumn card. And um, lots of stamping and lots of colors, but not difficult. So let's jump in and do this one. And then you can look for a third video in this series of my October Stamp Club projects. And that will be a small Christmas box that we're making. Um, I mentioned in video one, this is really spontaneous. I usually record my videos for Stamp Club after Club, a day or two after, and I had time this afternoon, so even though Club is not till tomorrow, I went ahead and wanted to film these. Um, the October host code, if you do go to my store to order any products, I appreciate it so much. And when you get to the checkout screen, if you enter this host code, this host code here, um, for the month of October, that would be lovely. Thank you so much. So let's jump right in. Like I said, this lovely fall or autumn card, um, this was inspired by another demonstrator that I did see her project and said, oh my goodness, I really have to do this. So I am starting with a piece of cardstock. This is a large piece for this card. It measures 11 by five and a half and I have already scored it down the center at five and a half. So this is going to make a large square card. Now, right at this time in our current catalog, we don't have um, large square envelopes. So I have bought my square envelopes on Amazon and they will fit a six inch square card. So this will have just enough wiggle room in there. Um, so again, this is five and a half inches square. So this is my card base. And then I have a piece of old olive and I've cut the old olive layer down to five and a quarter square. So this is going to get mounted onto here and there's no reason we can't go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna grab my liquid glue and put my old olive piece on. I've been having so much fun this season with all kinds of Halloween stamping cards and boxes and treat containers. Um, it's just been so much fun with the products that came out this year. And so I did a little bit of a lane swerve for club. Um, it's getting kind of close to Halloween. And so we're not doing Halloween projects um, this month, but rather autumn and Christmas. All right, so I'm going to layer this one. I'm gonna slide this out of the way. I'll bring it back at the end with the host code. But I need a little more elbow room. All right, so I'm checking out my borders. Try to see if this is somewhat straight. Okay, I like it. Give it a little press, turn it over. Press it real good. Okay, then I'm also going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So I'm using the Hello from Forever Fern. And Old Olive Ink. Let me show you all the colors we're gonna use on this, okay? I'm gonna stamp with Old Olive right now, but we are going to use Old Olive, Cajun Craze, Mossy Meadow, Crushed Curry, cinnamon cider, and pumpkin pie. Oh my goodness, those just feel so good. All right, so with Old Olive and my Hello Stamp, putting this somewhat in the middle of this little white scrap because I'm going to um, use a die cut, an oval die cut to cut that out and a little bit larger die cut for that one. So let me pull in my mini.
and these ovals let me see where my ovals are. I think I have set them on my other desk. So sit tight, let me grab my ovals. All right, see, that's what happens when I'm planning for Stamp Club and also spontaneously start doing videos. I leave things in other places. All right, so here's my one and two plate in my mini. These ovals are from um, layering ovals, so they have retired, but some of those basic type shaped dies I know you all purchase when they're available. If you don't have these, um, any other oval shape or rectangle, you can punch, you can cut, whatever you need to do. But I really am happy with this oval right here. All right, so there's our old olive oval. Hmm, that's a lot of O's. Old olive oval. And now we'll cut out the hello. All right, let's see if I can line that up. And I'm a little worried about it sliding or wiggling when I get, get it going. So I'm gonna grab my post-it tape and just stick it into place. Okay. All right, we can move the mini out of the way and carefully remove my oval from the tape. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so this is just gonna get attached with a little bit of liquid glue. What have you been stamping? Have you been doing all kinds of Halloween projects as well? Have you started your Christmas projects? It's not too early. And how about fall? I probably don't send as many fall or Thanksgiving cards um, or treat type boxes as I do for Halloween and Christmas, but some. So that's why I've got my couple of fall things started. Okay, now for the stamping. So we're gonna take this piece of basic white cardstock and this one measures five inches square. So we've got a five and a half inch card base, a five and a quarter inch layer, and then this five inch piece is going to be the focal piece on the front of the card. All right, so we're gonna grab this. Now I also need to mark the center of my square. So, um, for Stamp Club, I'm having the gals use a T-square because it's really the easiest way to do it, but it's already set up on my um, stamping table for tomorrow. So I am going to grab a ruler. Let's see how this goes, okay, guys? I'm gonna lay my cardstock as straight as I can. Now, I know this is five inch, a five-inch square, so two and a half is gonna be the middle. So I'm just gonna make a little mark here at the two and a half. And I'm gonna mark again. Um, no, I'm looking at my ruler wrong. I do have my glasses on. Two and a half. Oh, uh, let's get one with an eraser. How about this one? Okay. Let's just make sure it's right. Who do I think I am? I was looking at the metric. All right, here's two and a half, and I'm gonna make a second mark also at two and a half. And I'm gonna turn my cardstock around.
Okay, so these two intersecting is going to be my middle, my center. It doesn't hurt one bit that I'm doing this on grid paper. That also helps me check that things are nice and straight. Okay, so there's my middle. I'm actually going to erase um, parts of this just so I really have that little T in the middle. I don't need all this. It's going to get covered anyway, so don't be worried about it, and you don't have to erase the whole thing. But I'm just making it down, bringing it down a little bit smaller. Okay. Now I'm going to take a stamp from Forever Fern. Um, as I mentioned before, we used the same stamp set on the first card um, for Stamp Club this month, but we used different images. So on this one, let's see if I already pulled it out. Okay, we are using this leafy branch and we're also going to use the smaller one. In this set there's um, two that are mirror images so it doesn't matter whichever one you grab is fine but you only need one of them. All right so like I said lots of colors so I'm going to be cleaning my stamp in between and doing lots of ink changes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is stamp my leaf and I'm going to start with Cajun Craze. So I've got that little center marked and that's just going to help me keep my leaves somewhat um, centered on my project. What I'm looking for is where the leaf and the edge of the card are. That's what I'm kind of going to um, try to be consistent with. Not necessarily this, but my stem is pointing towards that center mark. So I'm going to get Cajun Craze on there. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink, just ink. All right, there's that. Lovely. Okay, the next color, let me clean this off. All right, that one was Cajun Craze. Then I'm going to go with Crushed Curry. Same stamp. I'm just going to rotate my card and go on this side. Again, I'm kind of watching for the edge of my card stock. Fill it, but I don't want it to really go off the edge. All right, there's my crushed curry. Then I'm going to go with cinnamon cider on this next one. Same stamp. All right. This one was a little bit um, intimidating when I made the first one because of how it's going kind of in the round and all these colors. But seriously, don't overthink it. Just get to stamping and all the colors end up blending and looking really autumnal and beautiful. All right, so that one was cinnamon cider. All right, my next in the series is going to be pumpkin pie. And then I'll have gone all the way around. Um, around my square. Is that possible to go around your square? All right, so this one is pumpkin pie. Then next, I'm going to go for my um, old olive. And with old olive, I'm going to stamp it twice in opposite corners. All right, so let me clean my stamp again that had pumpkin pie on it. All right, with old olive now. And let's see, this is, this is where I started. Cajun Craze was first. Yeah, that's where I started. Oh, that one's Cajun Craze. This is pumpkin pie. Cajun Craze, okay. 
So I'm going to take my old olive and stamp right in the middle. And don't worry that it's going to actually touch the leaves from your other two. It's fine. Okay, it's just fine. And then do old olive again, and I'm going to go in the opposite corner. Okay, then we're going to switch greens and go to Mossy Meadow. And I know you already guessed, these are going to go in the other two opposite corners. That one. And that one. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay. It almost doesn't matter which side. There really is no up or down. I keep turning it back to how I started. All right, now we're gonna switch to this smaller little leaf. And I'm going back to crushed curry. I'm gonna do two of these. And we're just kind of filling in. So this is, again, where you don't need to overthink it. I'm gonna put a crushed curry. Mm. I am gonna stamp off, because I want a lighter version and so I'm going to stamp onto some scratch paper at least once, maybe twice. Uh, my crushed curry isn't that dark, so I'm just going to stamp off once. I'm doing my crushed curry here. Stamp it off, and let's do one over here. Yeah. Okay, clean that. Let's go to Old Olive. and stamp off. I'm going to stamp off a second time. Mm, I don't know, it's going to be kind of like one time. And I'll do an old olive here. And over here. So you're basically stamping the smaller one in between your large ones. We had eight large ones. We had the first four, then five, six, and seven and eight were our greens. And now we're just dropping um, two of each of the colors in between. So that one was Old Olive. I think I'll go to Cinnamon Cider next. And see if I need to stamp off once or twice on this guy. Just once. So I'll put one of those here. And I think one here. All right, and then the last color, let's see, I need two more. So I'm gonna go get pumpkin pie. And same process, I'm gonna stamp that off twice, and then in there, and my last little spot, let's see, this is one, did I miss any, here's this guy, this guy, okay, I think that's all of our spots, oh my goodness, it just ends up looking so pretty, now, I'm going to take our greeting, and this is just going to cover up the middle. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I am going to um, 